so dry. Look at this. It makes noise on my spoon. Okay, into here. I'm gonna add another one. Oh! <laughs> Princess Tea is a witch. Princess Toy Review. Hi, friends and princesses. It's Princess Tea. Today, we are back with another science experiment. Halloween edition. So, this is a super easy experiment, but you really, really, really need your parents' help on this because in today's experiment, we're gonna be dealing with dry ice, and you should never touch this with your hands. That's why we have these giant spoons. I also have my goggles right here, and then I also have on a lab coat. So here we have some water, and what we're gonna do is super easy. I put a little hole underneath this jack o' lantern. So we're gonna add oh, some dry ice. And look at this. It makes noise on my spoon. Okay, into here. I'm gonna add another one. Oh, oh, into here. And oh, another one into here. And then I'm gonna take my jack o' lantern. And put it in the hole. Let's take a look at my friend. Okay, I'm gonna move my friend, Mr. Jack Lancer, over here, and we're gonna do more dry ice experiments. So, before we get started on part two of our experiment, let's think about it a little bit here. What do you think happened? Well, first of all, this reaction is a physical reaction. Dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. Do you know why we call dry ice dry ice? Well, it's because it never enters a liquid state as it melts. Unlike regular ice, which melts into liquid water. Dry ice transformed directly to carbon dioxide gas form. So pretty much what happens is the dry ice just takes in heat from the water and turns into a gas. So in front of me, I have lots of water and I have lots of food coloring. We're just gonna put different food coloring in. So we have yellow, my favorite teal. Also got red over here. I poured my food coloring in and I'm just gonna mix. So here we have pink water, purple, orange, red, teal, my favorite. And last but not least, Okay, and next we have our dry ice. Remember, do not touch this with your hands. Ask a parent for help. And then I'm just gonna take one of these and drop it in. some tape, some scissors, some markers, a bowl, some styrofoam cups, 
acetone, and some construction paper. Can't we mail that to a witch now? Well, we can't because we don't have a witch yet. Oh, where is she coming from? Well, we're gonna make it. We're gonna go to the store and buy one. No, we're gonna make one right here. So we're gonna just use all of our ingredients here to make our witch. You ready? I'm born ready. Let's do this. So first, I have to pick one of these beautiful colors. Hmm. Should I go orange, yellow, green, blue, white, pink? Ooh, there's even a brown and a darker pink and a black and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple. Oh my pick goodness, some. so <laughs> many colors. I think I'm going with this pink. Mm. Green, oh, that's red. red. This is pink. But I thought this is a hot pink. Whatever this is, <laughs> I like it. And I'm going to do a two color head. Okay. I'm going to go with black and pink. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I am going to go with black too. And I'm going to go with purple. And I'm going to go with orange. How am I going to make a rectangle into a cone shape for my witch's hat? Oh, I know how. You do? Mm -hmm. Can well, you show you us? You take your paper like this, and then you just go like this. And you need to make it really tight up here, not so tight down here. And then you just keep <gasps> rolling it until Ooh. there is no roll no more. Why are you so smack? I am smack? Mm hmm. That's smart. Yeah, that too. And then, oh, that's a good size. And now I'm gonna tape it so it doesn't come undone. Right here. Oh, 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 oh. Just like this. Whoa! But yes. I think our hat is gonna cover our witch's face, so I'm gonna cut mine a little bit. How about you? Dude? I'm gonna cut mine too. I'm gonna cut mm. mine. I'm gonna make there, and then I'm gonna cut it round and round from my little dog right here. Let me make a little. This and now I can cut it round and round. Check out the top part of my hat. What do you guys think? It's still missing the brim down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that. And Granny, oh, wow. are you making an elf's head? No, it's a witch's head. It's a hot pink witch's head. What now? Hot pink. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take this and I'll put it smack in the middle. Hey, I was gonna do the same thing, Granny. You copying me, and then I mark my circle. I'm marking mine over here. Uh oh. Uh oh, mine went uh oh too. Look, it's not a good circle, but it's okay because we're just gonna cut it off. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna draw a little one over. Oh, wait, I don't need my hat for that. Like this. Hey, it kind of looks like a donut. Hmm. Yeah, no, I just cut a circle. I can't wait to see what our witch is going to look like. I Granny. know. Let me see if it fits. Oh, oh, oh. I have to cut it a little bit more. It tore. Uh oh. oh. Careful. Oh. And remember, if you're doing this at home, you may need to ask your parents for help. Unless. You have some of these scissors because they're nice and safe. Okay, so I've attached my brim onto my hat. It looks awesome. How are you doing, Granny? I'm doing really good. Look at mine. Wow, that looks great. Mm -hmm. And I love the color combination. Mm. I actually, I'm gonna add a buckle onto my hat. Do you wanna add anything onto yours? Well, you didn't use your purple and your orange yet. I'm about to right now. Can I have a piece of your purple and your orange? Just a little one. Just a little? Well, that's way too much for Granny. I know, but I want us to 
be fair, well, I'm gonna go 50-50. So oh, fitty fitty. That's half. awesome. Four. Five. Yeah. Five. Five. Thank you. Five. Five. You're welcome. I'm going to make a little moon to put on her head. Oh, oh, oh. Look, half a moon. We can't do a full moon. I wish I could make a little cat that's sitting in the moon. Okay, and I'm gonna use my purple. Cause I'm, oh, awesome. Okay, I'm going to just cut out a strip of purple, like so. And this is gonna be the belt. And I'm gonna need a buckle. So I'm going to cut a square here like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to be as close to perfect as possible. So I'm gonna fold it in half, and then I'm going to cut another square within the square, like so. And oh, whoa, it flew off. And then I'm gonna add it right here, like that. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna make a star. So I cut like this, and I cut right here, and I'm gonna go over like this, and over like that, and now we unfold it, and we have a star. Okay, my belt is all done. I'm just going to add it right here onto my hat like this. What about you, Granny? <gasps> that looks awesome. Thank you. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to put my star right here. And the moon is right over here. Hmm, looking pretty good, I think. Can, can we do the experiment now? <gasps> well, I think our witch is missing her face <gasps> and her hair. Oh yeah, a face and hair would be even better. But I only have black. Me too. Who thought of this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I, mean, I guess I can start drawing the eyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Granny, what you got going on over there? Granny, Granny just got a little moo -moo magic. Just, just a little bit magic. Moo -moo magic. <gasps> you have more colors? I got a red. Can I? Can I borrow it too? You can. Awesome, thank you. Let's put it right in the middle so we can share. Oh, she's so I also got blue to match my eyes. Oh. And ah, I show you all I have. Orange, green, and a dark blue. Awesome. Now we're ready to draw. Okay, so I'm gonna need to draw some eyes. And I'm just gonna draw her some round beady eyes. Well, it's actually kind of oval. Ooh, whoopsie. And we're gonna go like this. And then I think I'm gonna, well, I'm just gonna make her eyes like me. Nice and black. We're just gonna fill it all in. And, oh, she of course needs some lashes. Just three, kinda like Tweety. Like that. Hmm, what are you gonna draw? I'm, I'm making different eyes, but I'm working on the eyes. Ooh. Okay. I give her pretty eyes like mine. And I need a pupil. Oh, and some nice eyebrows. And one more pretty eye over here. And another pupil. And an eyebrow. And I have to give her a nose. Hmm. Oh, I know. She's gonna have a nose like this. Uh, that's her nose. Man, she has a little wart right there. Whoa, that nose was ginormous. But I guess that's how they normally look. Mm, I think I'm just gonna draw something. I'm just gonna draw her a little small cute nose like that. And then... Oh, you're making a cute witch. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to give mine the blue eyes now. Oh, blue eyes? Mm -hmm, like Granny. And we're also going to give her some warts on her nose like that. And next, I'm going to give her 
some pretty, pretty little lips. Just, just little ones. Let's see. And then here. And then... Bottom lip down here. Almost done with my one eye. And I need to get the other one done. Ooh. All right, and it's almost done too. Nice and blue. Just like Granny's eyes. But wait a minute. I'm missing me some beautiful eyelashes. Ooh, Granny, you are fancy. Ooh, and now for some hair. But can I borrow your red for my lips? Yes, of course. Thank you. And I think I'm gonna give her some curly, wavy hair. Kind of like how mine is. And mine is going to get ooh, some nice, full lips. And now we have to fill it all in. Look at my mouth, but she needs a little thing right here and we need to get her some give her some hair you know i think i'm gonna do orange hair and her hair is gonna be really curly like granny's hair like crazy curls like woo, big hair like everywhere we're all done yes. which one do you like better granny's over here or princess fam's Leave a comment down below. All right, and now the moment we've been waiting for. We put it in the bowl. No, now we're gonna melt our witch. <gasps> I forgot about the melting part. Yes, that's the whole point of our size experiment. So here we have acetone. So you may wanna ask your parents for help with this. I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna pour some into my bowl. I'm gonna pour it into my bowl. That looks good. And it's my turn. About like this? Or yeah, more? I think that's good. Like that? Mm -hmm. All right, are you ready? I think I am. Okay, all right, here we go. What, we just put her in So here. we put her in and then you just push her down. <gasps> oh no, Granny, she's melting. No, my witch is going away. All that's left is our witch's hat. Oh no! <gasps> Whoa! Look, Whoa. that's all that's left of our styrofoam cup. What happened to it? Well, Granny, what happens when you add acetone to that styrofoam is that the air released from the styrofoam, and that's all that you get left. <gasps> Wow, that's very interesting. I'm yeah. glad you're smart like that. But don't tell anybody because it just looks like a magic trick. <gasps> that's right, we got the magic. All right, this is the end of today's video. If you like more Halloween size experiments, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, Princess Princess. Bye. Bye. Bye.